heavyweight boxing fans what's the deal first let me give a shout out to mr kelly for sending me another great article here keeps me updated with everything new zealand and mainly everything uh joseph parker so shouts out to you now i'm looking at this article here and it says uh kiwi heavyweight joseph parker to fight again in new zealand in september so I'm going to read some quotes from this article. I will leave the article in the description box. And like always, you click on it, read it, and come to your own surmise. Now, we know that he just fought Carlos Takam. And like I've stated, and I have to give him, you know, J Joseph Parker a lot of credit for this and give him his props, man. Because literally two days after that fight, he was in another press conference to set up a July 21st fight with Solomon Hayumano. So I'm going to read a little uh, bit of this article. And these quotes are from... Uh, Dean Lonergan, he is the uh, co-owner of Duco Events. He goes on to say, uh, we fight July 24th with Solomon Humano. We are looking at a coming out and that going into a very Anthony Joshua type fighter. All right. Someone who is very big, strong and for the end of September. All right. So they're looking for supposedly a formidable guy. All right. He also goes on to say, we are definitely looking at a late September and my preferred venue would be in Vercargo. I've got an email into ILT Stadium Southland at the moment, just checking the dates that are available. He also goes on to say, uh, why wouldn't we want to go to Invercargo? It is a great place in New Zealand. We get the warmest reception down there. Kevin Barry and Joseph Parker love coming down there. They've been down there many times now. The reception they get is second to none. Invercargill makes it easy for us to go there. They are fantastic to deal with. Invercargill is the most proactive body I have come across who lay down and welcome Matt and try to get events to town. It is no wonder why the event industry thrives down there, simply because they are so proactive in getting people there. All right. Um, he also goes on to say, I'm working on an opponent right now. We've got a couple opponents in mind who are big men and they will be tough, hard fights. So, and they're talking about fighting Anthony Joshua if he gets past Dominic Brazil, but they're talking about fighting Joshua anywhere from November to January in uh, England. So they're keeping Joseph Parker in the gym, kind of like what they used to do with, um, you know, when Tyson was first starting off before he became a champion. But that first year and a half, it was literally, I mean, Parker's not fighting at that rate that Tyson is fighting at. But it kind of reminds me of that, where he's literally fighting every other month. They're just throwing him in there. I mean, he's not fighting every month, but he's literally fighting every other month. And they're not going to, like I said, I'm I'm giving them their credit, man, because they're not letting this young guy just sit on the sideline. Now, he could have easily just fought the Takam fight and said, you know what, I'm just going to wait till my title shot. If I do take a fight, it'd be probably in August sometime. I mean, he could have really just milked this. But like I said, man, if you, like literally two days after the Takam fight, he was in the press conference with uh, Hayumano to set up their fight in July. And then they're saying he's, he's going to be right back in the ring in September. So uh, and they already got some guys lined up. But first, they got to take care of business July 21st, which I think they will. Uh, some... How you mind no fans have came to my video and uh, told me I don't know shit about boxing because they think that that he's going to win the fight. Actually, one of his supposed this guy comes to my page and he says he, he's a part of that uh, how you mind no camp. And he thinks that uh, he's going to pull off the upset. I don't know how truthful the guy is, but he may show up to this video. But he says that uh, he's in that camp and Joseph Parker is green and he thinks Parker's going to get knocked out, you know, but. If you are watching this video, man, how about you leave your name and we know who you are and, you know, we can look up some of this footage and are you guys going to put some sparring footage up, you know? But anyways, back to Parker, uh, I'm glad that they're doing this. You know, they're keeping them in the ring. They're not letting them sit out and become stalemate and just sit around and wait because nothing's promised. Yes, you have an IBF title eliminator set up. And you got your title shot, but you know what these organizations, man, and nothing's promised I, I i know it's written down and they probably got a contract that he's going to be the mandatory but it's just nothing's promised to me in the heavyweight division and he can go in you know how mano can probably put into all of this and beat parker so that lets you know that nothing is promised whether it's on the other end or if it's the fighter himself but i'm um, just getting this news out there that they're looking after this july 21st fight that they're looking to get right back in there in september and just think if they fight in november you know if, if uh let's say joshua beats brazil and they look for the fight in november 
Um, I'll be curious to see if, if uh, Joshua will try to take another um, defense of his title before he fights Parker. You know, I'm, I'm, well, I guess we'll see how everything plays out. But as far as with Parker and his team, Barry and Lonergan, they're going to they're keep things rolling, man. They're going to keep them fresh, keep them training, keep them, you know, to the gym, right to the fights, back to the gym, right to the fights. And I like that. Supposed to do that with a young guy, man. Get the best out of him right now. Why is that his, um, his peak? I'm not going to say peak is an all-around fighter, but the engine, his motor's revving. He's a young guy. He's in the physical prime of his life. Um, so keep him warmed up, man. Keep him going. You know, like I said, usually after 12 grueling rounds, some guys will just sit out, take a year off, take six months off. Not Parker. He's right back in the ring. So just getting this article out there. I'm out.